Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. No decision on whether the accused Oxford High School shooter should remain in the county jail or be moved to a juvenile facility. 15 year old Ethan Crumbly is charged as an adult. His attorneys are pushing for him to be transferred, but prosecutors offered evidence to show the defendant's maturity and behavior should keep him in the county jail. In a text thread with his friend and in his journal, he outlined a plan to stalk rape, torture, and ultimately kill a female classmate. He expressed delight in torturing a family of baby birds. The defense says Crumbly was not himself in the days before the mass shooting. In the time leading up to these events that my client um, was hallucinating, that he was seeing things, he was hearing voices, he was not sleeping, he was extremely anxious, he was not eating properly, and that he had asked his parents to see a therapist. The defense added it would not be unprecedented to house an accused killer at the juvenile center. The judge gave both sides until Friday to prepare additional arguments. Two of the four people charged in the shooting death of a store security guard that investigators say started over a face mask dispute will stand trial. It happened in May of 2020 at the Family Dollar near U of M Flint. Prosecutors say the security guard got into a heated argument with a woman over the woman's daughter needing a face mask to enter. Investigators say they left the store and then returned with the woman's husband and her son. And 43-year-old Calvin Munnerlin was shot and killed. Larry Teague and Ramon Ye Bishop are expected to appear before a judge March 23rd. Both are charged with first degree murder, which is a charge that brings a life sentence upon conviction. And now here's Chris with our forecast. Beg looks like things improve quite a bit as we go into tonight, but it does also look like we've got plenty of ice left behind. Jason Shaw left this picture for us in Oscoda. Looks like nearly a half inch of ice there, and it looks like these ice storm warnings will still last through about midnight or so. Winter weather advisories are also going to go through midnight. Wouldn't be shocked to see these canceled a bit early just because precipitation is starting to wind down, but also with the road conditions that will still be out there tonight. They may just go to their expiration time. Either way, just be careful. Low temperatures headed towards the teens and upper teens later tonight. It looks like our conditions, at least for the early evening, are OK along US 10 and areas south of there should be just fine, too, as far as the near term. But once we cool down this evening, some icy areas may develop farther to the south where we haven't quite seen as much of that today. Your first one five pinpoint Doppler radar live from MBS shows any precipitation out there at this point is fairly sporadic and not everyone seeing that this will eventually come to an end overnight as well as high pressure moves in and that area of high pressure will keep things pretty quiet the next couple of days but the cold air settles in so even as we improve going into tomorrow as far as the wet weather is concerned those cold temperatures will keep icy roads on untreated surfaces in play through pretty much the end of the work week your first one five hour by hour forecast into Wednesday night and early Thursday shows that only a few flurry possibilities are there on Thursday coming off the lake. But what I'm watching is what happens on Friday morning as our next round of snow comes in. This one not expected to linger too long, but it will drop a quick inch or two of snow at least maybe in three or four in some spots. We'll have to watch how that evolves the next couple of days. We'll take a better look at that as we work into tomorrow and we get rid of our storm system from today. Your seven day forecast shows we've got 20s the rest of the week back up to near freezing by Saturday. 20s and 30s linger next week as well. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.